Hi there, this is Rach from Square Stylist and on this video, I am going to walk you through our mini course about the ultimate carousel and the reason why we consider it as the ultimate carousel is because we can actually add any block to our carousel slide because the feature works by pulling content from a certain blog collection that we specify and the content of our carousel slide is pulled from a blog post item. Here's one of the many layouts that we can accomplish using the ultimate carousel. Um, so our slides can actually be flipped using arrows or it can also autoplay depending on the duration that we want. And on desktop, it can be dragged while on mobile, it is swipeable. And the way it works in the back end is the carousel is pulled from an entire blog collection and whatever is the content of our blog post item will be the content of our slide. So for example, for tab, tab title one, we have this content for second carousel slide, this will be our content. And actually we can have different layouts for each carousel slide, but for the purposes of this course, I will encourage you to create uniform slides, but of course, depending on your design, it may also work to have different layouts per slide. Because of the powerful and flexible nature of our ultimate carousel feature, there are actually limitless ways by which we can lay out the carousel slides. But the, for the purpose of this mini course, I'll guarantee three designs, which we will replicate. And then I may add more user cases based on your suggestions, but for now I will guarantee three. So this is the first design that we will replicate. These are actually just image blocks. So this one has an overlap text, but I will walk you through some CSS layout tricks on how to make sure we implement this efficiently. And then I'll walk you through how to display the tab title here and position the arrows as such. Here's the second layout. These are actually image blocks and text blocks as well. But in this case, we position the arrows differently and we have the counters instead of the tab title. And then here's another design. Um, this, these are image blocks and text blocks, but again, we can, we can replace this block with a video, for example, and this will be perfect in showcasing video testimonials. And as always, the course comes with a step-by-step -step guide on how to implement each. So I'll start with a course overview. And then the second part is about adding the codes to make the ultimate carousel feature work. And I was very intentional in making the codes such that you can implement this feature in multiple instances within the site. So we can apply different styles for each across one site. And then I'll walk you through how to lay out the first design, second and third designs. And there will also be advanced customizations, including customizing individual slides instead of targeting all the slides. So this course is beginner friendly. We're also message away via email or Slack if you have questions about the course. Thank you.